Yo, what's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to the experience and before we even start this video, I have to say that today actually makes my one year anniversary since restarting my YouTube channel and you know guys, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm extremely grateful and I feel blessed for all of you guys who've been supporting me throughout this past year and it's only growing and this community that we're really building from scratch is extremely amazing to me. But something else that I have to note is the fact that it was the off-white Jordan 5s that I actually did, which was my initial video when I restarted this channel, man. And guys, I know you guys got the news all over social media. I'm really trying not to talk about it because it really bothered me. Like when I got the news, I literally signed off of my social media accounts. I didn't want to say none of it because Virgil, Ab first of all, rest in peace of Virgil Abloh, man. You were a very special person. The vision that you had for fashion is next to none. I don't know if anybody will be able to replicate you. You were seriously amazing, dude. Like, I'm really not trying to cry on camera and I'm trying to keep my composure, but I literally remember in high school, man, when you made Pyrex Vision. For those who don't know, Pyrex was before Off-White. I got that hoodie, man, and it was literally groundbreaking to me. Like, when Kanye West popped up in that beautiful hoodie for that performance on December 12th, 2012, that was a, I can't even explain it, man. The graphic on it with the 23 on it, guys. Jordan 23, Pyrex Vision. Like if you put that whole concept together, it's absolutely insane. And then right after that, he moved on to making Off-White, which became the huge brand that it was today. I was literally a Virgil supporter from day one and being one of the first people in Pyrex Vision and not just Brooklyn, but in New York City, like that thing sold out so fast. And I know I was the only guy in my high school to have it. And just seeing where he took that vision, literally that Pyrex vision and made it into off-white to becoming the men's lead designer for Louis Vuitton, man. It's crazy what can happen in the matter of 10 years, but it also shows you that life is very short, guys. And I'm trying not to get emotional because that really hit me, guys. Like, is insane, but you know, again, rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. I appreciate everything that you did for not only the fashion community, but the sneaker community. I don't think anybody else is going to do what you did collaboration-wise from Nike. I thought nobody could do what Kanye did at Nike, but you literally came, made a collection, and then expanded upon that. And literally, you are a fashion icon and a legend, and God rest your soul, man and rest in peace. And I'm gonna stop right there before I start crying on camera because I'm not gonna do that to y'all. So now, to try to make this video a bit more brighter, let's get into the Amal Manier shoe, man. Very beautiful shoe, very amazing, super high quality. So let's just get right into the box details, all right? So as you guys can see right here, we have the Amal Manier sleeve, which is the same thing on the Jordan 3 box as well as the Travis Scott fragments had this as well, obviously with different branding. So once we take off this sleeve, we have the Amal Manier print all over. And I'm just gonna show you guys that. Next, when we go onto the box, we have a lot of beautiful details from the Nike branding to the Amal Manier branding, as well as the Jordan branding, obviously. So let's start off with this side of the box. We have our Jordan Wings logo, as well as our Amal Manier logo. Next, when we go onto this side, we have the huge A, that's the logo for Amal Manier. Then when we turn back onto this side, we have the same Wings logo, as well as the Amal Manier branding. And then when we go onto the top of the lid, we have our Nike branding right there, with that maroon colorway, as well as some Amal Manier branding at the top as well. And then finally, concluding with this box, we have our sticker tag side as well as the Amal Manier logo right there. Next, when looking at the sticker details, it reads as Air Jordan 1 Retro High OGSP, of course, true to size, size 8. And the retail on this is $200, and the colorway shown is Sale and Burgundy Crush. So, when we actually take off the lid, guys, we actually get another detail inside the lid. So, as you guys can see, we have Jordan doing his Jumpman logo dunk right there, and we also have the Amal Manier branding, which was a pretty cool detail to me, and I wasn't even expecting it when I opened the box. But it's always the little things that matters, guys. The Little things will always add an extra oomph to the shoe, so I really love that detail of the shoe. Now when looking at the wax tissue paper, we can see that we have some Amal Manier branding, which again was standard to the Jordan 3 as well. We have the super ultra mega clean shoe, guys. Look how clean this is, man. This shoe is so freaking clean, guys. At first, I was kind of like, uh, it's cool. But let me wait until I get it in person. And I have to say, guys, it looks way better in person. So there's certain things that looks different in person in comparison to the stock photos on the sneakers app. But before we get into that, guys, let's get into the history of the shoe. 
So very similar to the Amman Man Air Jordan 3, the Amman Man Air Jordan 1 is also a tribute sneaker, but instead of being tributed to women this time, it's actually tributed to Michael Jordan himself, or as they label him in the product description, Airness or your airness, basically a play on your highness. So essentially that's another concept behind the shoe as well. So instead of calling him Jordan or Michael Jordan or the GOAT, they're calling him your airness and treating him like royalty. And that's the basis behind the colorway shown. So as we all know, burgundy or purple are colors of royalty. And that's basically the play on what they're doing here. Also behind that royalty concept, they actually decide to take something from the Jordan 2. So if you guys didn't know, the Air Jordan 2 was actually considered a luxury sneaker because they were using Italian cut leather on those sneakers. And now it's not the same. They definitely don't put that much detail or quality into the Jordan 2. But before, that was the whole concept behind the Jordan 2. It was supposed to be like a high quality, high fashion luxury sneaker. So basically that's why they're using the premium materials on this shoe. So that's pretty much gonna conclude the history of the shoe. So let's get right into the details, all right? All right, y'all, so getting right into the details of the shoe as you guys can see it is a completely premium shoe from the cracked leather to the exotic leather to the quilted materials we're gonna go all over it in this portion of the video but first we have this beautiful leather hang tag as well as the Air Jordan logo on the other side of it and this is very reminiscent of the Jordans that come with the hang tag and that's pretty dope in my opinion and what's really cool about it is the fact that they're using leather materials on it which is really interesting that they did that next when we go onto the upper of the shoe as you guys can see it is in this predominantly white color Colorway. However, it has this cracked leather all around it, which is pretty interesting to me because the leather does come off when you scrape it a little bit. So I'm wondering if it's gonna be pretty similar to the topazes and the fact that if you rub this off, we actually have a hidden material and colorway inside of the shoe. I'm not gonna be the one to test that because I wanna keep my pair clean and I'll figure that out over time. However, if somebody is willing to take that risk online, we'll eventually find out about it. And as you guys know, this is an early pair and early review since it comes out this Friday. And also the people who copped on the early draft on the Amama Nair website still hasn't gotten their pair. So I was able to win an early pair from Prosper and I really appreciate you guys for that. So anyways, let's get back into the materials of the shoe. So now when we go onto the Nike swoosh here, we have this burgundy exotic leather swoosh as they describe it on the product description, which is pretty dope. The next going onto the angle collar area, we actually have that same exotic leather wrapping around the entire shoe. And what's really interesting about that is that if we actually take off this hang tag, we actually get a hidden detail within the shoe. And guess who was the first person to do this? This guys Virgil Abloh man look at that this was on the off-white Jordan 1 four years ago and there's a lot of sneakers now following the same suit so again rest in peace to my guy Virgil man this guy was a complete innovator and anyways getting back onto the shoe we actually have something here so I'm leaving it for you guys to see it right there and then now I'm gonna read it off to y'all so basically it says learning's a gift even when pain is your teacher guys that statement right there is one of the biggest facts of life. As you guys know, pain is something that always teaches us a lesson, whether it's in the gym when you're working out and you get sore and that actually helps your body get better, or whether you're going through a relationship issue and you know you break up with the girl. You usually learn a lot about yourself within that process. So I definitely agree with this statement that learning is definitely a gift, especially when pain is involved. Next, when going on to the actual tongue, you guys can see that instead of a kind of satin or mesh tongue, we still have that crack leather which is pretty dope in my opinion and then when we go on to the tongue tag right here we have a burgundy and black nike air logo as well as the amama near branding stitch in white right there which is pretty cool next when we go on to the inside of this shoe we can see that we have a satin lined tongue which is definitely great for comfort and it'll be easy to slip in your shoe but we also get more of that quilted material as well as that satin material right there guys so this is definitely very similar to the Amama near Jordan 3s and that means we're gonna have a very comfortable shoe guys and the next one going on to the inside as you can see we have a beautifully stitched Amama near logo right onto that burgundy insole which is pretty dope in my opinion and then that's pretty much gonna conclude this side of the shoe but before I finish the details guys let's look at the left side of the shoe so the same thing pretty much follow suit with the left side however we do get an extra pair of laces which is the sale colorway lace and I'm not gonna lie guys I'm having a difficult time in deciding which colorway I'm gonna wear on the laces because I really like how the burgundy makes the shoe match but 
when you put the sail laces on, you actually get more of a pop, which is pretty cool, guys. So I'm gonna have a really difficult time determining what laces I'm gonna put on, but I guess we'll find out in the awful look. So next, even on this pair, we can actually see another quote right here, which is said by MJ, you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. And I truly agree with the statement, guys, because if we don't believe in ourselves and that we can do things, who's gonna do it for us, right? So this is a really great statement, again, of course, said by the GOAT. So I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but you can actually see that we have the sail midsole. However, in person, it has this kind of pink hue to it. I don't know if it's coming off on the camera, but if you guys actually get this sneaker in person, you would definitely be able to see that it has that kind of pink hue to it. Now, when we go into the outsole of the shoe, we have that beautiful burgundy colorway with that beautiful herringbone traction that I love on the Nike Air Jordan 1. So that's pretty much gonna conclude the details and the history of the shoe, guys. So other than that, let's get into this awful look, all right? Alright y'all, so that's gonna conclude the overall review as well as the on for look. And other than that, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Be sure to smash that like button. And if you see anything that you like throughout the video, or if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.